Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to another edition of Gombops Live. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, very excited about our show today. We are uh, welcoming two of our artists from Italy today, and uh, two two gentlemen that have been with us for a long time and have really helped Gombops um, promote our instruments in Europe and. Um, this is very exciting. They're uh, currently in Umbria, Italy. That's where we're going to be talking from. I'm in Los Angeles, California, and they're in uh, Umbria in the, the city of Perugia. And um, we're going to welcome these two gentlemen. And also uh, like to thank today, we have a, a help from a friend of theirs, a translator. Uh, her name is Laura Mancini. So I'd like to thank Laura for helping us out to today because my, my Italian is Menza menze, <laughs> as they say. Uh, but anyway, um, so uh, thank these guys for coming aboard with us today and everything that they do for the brand. Um, first off, uh, Roberto Gatti has worked with several Italian and international artists, including Quincy Jones, Patty Austin, Paolo Fresu, Take Six, Cirque du Soleil, and many more. His deep interest in percussion has brought him to study in Cuba with for long periods of time working with Giovanni Hildago, Oscar Valdez, Ilya Lazo, Pedro Martinez, and others. Roberto is currently a, a full-time member and teaches at various music conservatories in Italy. Uh, also with us today is Luca Mattioni. Luca Mattioni is one of the most active percussionists in the Italian music scene, having worked with such renowned artists as Eduardo Vianello, John Abercrombie, Walter Marino, Peter Erskine, Alfredo Golino, Alessandro Belloni, and many others. Luca specializes in both Afro-Cuban and Afro-Brazilian Afro music and teaches extensively. He's also the co-founder of the Mau Branca, one of the first Brazil percussion street bands in Italy. Uh, we're really proud to welcome these, these gentlemen and uh, thank them so much. Uh, so, hey guys. <laughs> Hi. 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 How are you? Welcome, welcome. Good. You? Very, very good. Thanks for uh, this uh, invitation. And sorry uh, for our English uh, that is not very good, but we have our translation. Right. <laughs> translator, translator, sorry. Translator. Yes. I, I, just, um, I just introduced you and I introduced Laura as well. So, Laura, thank you for joining us today. And um, Thank you. Uh, your English is a lot better than my Italian, so. Un <laughs> poco. I, you know, it's funny. I, I, uh, when I'm there, uh, in Italy, my my Italian starts to come back a little bit. But uh, when I was growing up, my father and my grandfather would speak Italian, and I would pick up things. But you know, they didn't really, they didn't really like enforce it. They didn't really, I wish, I wish they would have told me, you know, you need to learn this, you know, but, um, that might, my, my, you know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but my, but okay. because my, my mother was German, so and she was born in Germany. So it was both languages sometimes. So. Okay. Okay. So, uh, everybody, welcome uh, to everybody watching today. Uh, our, our guests today are joining us from Umbria, Italy. And um, <coughs> if you have questions for the panel today, please feel free to post it. And I'd be glad to uh, uh, share your question with them. Uh, I'd like to, first of all, welcome everybody from uh, around the world watching today. Uh, and um, it's... Uh, just a little bit after 8 p.m. in Italy right now, a little after 11 a.m. here in Los Angeles, California. And um, so uh, just to give everybody in the audience a little bit of a little bit of a background, both uh, Roberto and Luca uh, came to us. Uh, we first learned about them through our distributor in Italy and uh, spoke very highly about them and told us uh, that they were interested in, and also already playing gombops. And since we started working together, um, these two artists are, in my opinion, have been instrumental in promoting gombops in Italy and Europe as, as well. And uh, 
We're very thankful. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Eh, già ho utilizzato Gombox per quello che state esportando, postando e promuovendo in tutta Italia. Yeah. For us uh, is a pleasure uh, demonstrate uh, this uh, beautiful instrument. Um, uh, we are uh, very very satisfied of this. Thank you to Gombox uh, American Gombox and the uh, Gombox Italy too. And Andrea Bovani is uh, our reference for for Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In, in Italia, sorry, Richard. In Italia, um, si sta facendo conoscere questo marchio piano piano. Uh, in, in Italy, Gombox uh, as a brand is growing up uh, uh, day by day, always more. Right. Well, you know. Personalmente l'ho conosciuto casualmente, casualmente. Uh, it was a, a coincidence, uh, a, I, I met Gombok, sì, it was, yeah. yeah. Perché cercavo uno strumento leggero, light. I was light. looking for a light instrument. E oh. per caso ho scoperto questo strumento. Oh. And I discovered this amazing instrument. Sì, sì. Yeah, yeah, Mariano. See, yeah, uh, they're very nice, and uh, uh, that's those are the drums that I also used recording. I I love them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, yes, and, and actually, thank you, Andrea. I know she's listening for all the help too. We're 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 a good team together. Sì, grazie, Andrea. Sì. Yeah, grazie, Andrea. Sì. So what's, what's, what's the music scene like now uh, in Italy for you guys? Tell, give us a little update on how things are going. Okay. In this moment, in now it's very difficult because uh, the pandemic stopped uh, all the, the events. The musical events and now uh, is uh, stopped too. Uh, we hope that uh, in uh, the summer, in the summer, uh, uh, we can uh, uh, play. Ricominciare. Start again. Start again to 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 play because uh, in this moment uh, we haven't uh, show concert gigs. Uh, because uh, it's not possible in the in the um, discotheque it's not possible uh, the square is not possible too it's very difficult we can so um, teach, teach uh, the only uh, resources for for uh, even to live, to live is uh, is uh, uh, teacher. Yeah, and teacher. teaching teaching online. Online, teaching. online too, but uh, in presenza in the um, live lesson. La, live lesson is possible in the okay. school of music in the music school uh, and uh, online uh, too. Okay, good. So uh, you you've been. Uh, like many of us, you've been dealing with this for two years now. It's so crazy. Um, and, and what I see is some countries are looser than other countries with regards to live music, you know? So some countries are, they are allowing more live, but it sounds like Italy is very closed still. Yes? In a country in which the live is permitted, it's permitted more things. In Italy, it's still very vincolata. Yeah. The situation uh, is uh, this. Uh, in Italy is not uh, um, per, per, per me, per me allowed, allowed uh, to, to make a show. Uh, it's very difficult, Richard, for us. It's very difficult. What about the, the, the bigger tour had uh, stopped in this moment? The bigger tour. Yeah. Uh, I hope, we hope that. Uh, um, we will get 
ricominceranno? Devo start again in the summer. Yeah. Um, what about recording? Is, is there recording work happening where you can go to a studio with a mask on and record? C'è possibilità di registrare, andate a studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Io eh, in questo momento sto registrando il mio disco, eh, Ricciardo. Uh, in these days I'm, I'm recording my, my CD, my, my oh. disco. Sì. Sì. Spero, spero che vi piacerà, ci saranno, ci saranno molti ospiti. I hope you will like it, there will be oh, a lot of... Yes. Is it your, uh, your first solo CD? First, first one? Sì. 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 And uh, and uh, cover music, cover music, uh, or original. yes, originally, um, one one cover, one only one cover, oh, okay, but all original. And see, my wow. composition, my arrangement, and the composition is, uh, um, Mario Rodriguez, my friend, uh huh. Uh, percussionist, um, a drummer, and composition. Okay. A uh, composer of delle, delle mie, delle mie canzoni. Okay. Is it is it yeah. mainly an, is it mainly a Latin style record? Yeah. Si. La Latin jazz. Oh, beautiful! Latin I can't jazz. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I know yeah. I know how much I know how much work it takes to do that because I came out with my first album in 2018 and I'm releasing my second one this year. It's a lot of work. Okay, okay. A, a yeah. big work to make a, a, a CD, no? It's a, a big work. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's very, it's very gratifying, and and especially when we can't play live, it's it's what I, you know we have to work on and be creative, you know. Yeah. 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 Se, se tu hai un tuo solo, lo stai facendo, l'hai fatto, stai a lavorare. Ah, eh, no, ehm, no. I haven't my, my CD, but uh, I'm recording for a CD uh, of our uh, other artist. Uh, yeah. Now, um, with an American singer that live in Italy, uh, 15 years, 20 years. Uh, and uh, she uh, is um, Joyce Elaine Yule. Uh, that um, 20 years ago, uh, she um, sing with um, Gloria Gaynor, Donna Summer. Uh, she work uh, with a, a very big uh, artist in the world. And okay. she live here. Uh, she is a, a singer, a jazz singer, and a soul singer. And we uh, we are recording now uh, in the CD of uh, of her. Okay. You know what? I want to go back in time a little and and do a little background uh, on on you guys, Luca. What, when you started in music, I mean, how how did you get inspired musically? Did you have a uh, family that inspired you, or or what? What? How did you begin? And and how did you end up learning, leaning? Uh, more towards Afro-Cuban and Afro-Brazilian. Uh, did this start later when you were older or when you were young? Did you start in that music love? When I started, if you were inspired by the family or other, and then when you were in contact with Afro-Music, Afro-Brazilian, 
più avanti okay. o già dall'inizio? Ok, I started um, uh, only with my passion because in my family um, there aren't uh, musicians. And so uh, when I, uh, quando avevo 14 anni, when I was 14, when I, wo- I was 14, um, I listened much music, African music, Latin music, Brazilian music. And, uh, and so I, I began to, to, uh, to have an uh, interest of, of the percussion, of the instrument percussion. Um, and uh, I, I began in, in, this, uh, in this way, in this way, prima uh, after. Um, Before uh, with the uh, Cuban music, and uh, then uh, with the uh, Afro-Brazilian music too, uh, are um, in my two styles, uh, Cuban and, and in Brazil, uh, and a little of African music uh, too, with jambe, dundum, and, and other instruments, but I studied uh, Um, much more uh, Cuban and Brazilian percussion. In the um, yes. Yeah. When you were young, were you studying formally with someone? When you were young, when you were young, when you were young, when you were Yeah, I began to study with a, a teacher uh, in Rome. In Rome, uh, there is a, a very Very known. very known teacher, the name is uh, Roberto Mamei Evangelisti, uh, and um, he um, portata, portata. Uh, he bring it to Italy, he, he bring it to Italy, the, the Cuban percussion, because ah. he studied for many, many years in Cuba, with a big, big uh, percussionist, uh, Like uh, Tata Guinness, uh, like uh, Changuito, uh, oh, sure. and uh, many, many others. Ah. Uh, in the first uh, of uh, uh, years, uh, mm, uh, 90 years, uh, 1990, 1919 years, uh, he, um, teach, he began to teach in Rome. And uh, I was in Rome. Uh, in the end of 19 years. Uh, I began uh, with, uh, with uh, him and uh, with other my teacher in uh, my country. Um, in your town? In, your in town. my town. E lui era un allievo di Roberto Evangelisti. Ah, uh, his teacher was also, uh, had, had also studied with Roberto Evangelisti. So. <laughs> okay. First, uh, I began to study with uh, Amedeo Griffoni, uh, and then I was to Roma to study with Roberto Evangelisti and other uh, uh, teacher uh, too. Okay. In 1994, 93, 1993, okay. for the, the, my first year of uh, uh, study of percussion. Okay. Um, same, same question for Roberto. Your, how did you get started? Yeah, when I started, I started casually. I started because I was fascinated by this instrument. I started uh, as, uh, just uh, it happened to me. Because I was treated uh, uh, from this uh, instrument, from the tonga, sì. this one. Tumbadora, sì. Ehm, dopo di che, eh, poi ho cominciato a studiare eh, al nord Italia con un percussionista molto famoso in Italia, che si chiama Ernesto Rodriguez, Ernestico. Eh. I started uh, um, uh, studying, attending uh, classes from... Uh, Um, Ernesto Rodriguez, known in Italy as Ernestico, is uh, quite famous here in Italy. Sì. Uh, e, um, poi Ernestico eh, mi ha dato gli indirizzi 
in Cuba per studiare con, con, con i grandi maestri. And Ernestico gave me uh, address, addresses, a Cuban addresses uh, of my, my teachers and uh, to go to Cuba and start to study there. Esatto, sì, poi sono stato a Cuba tantissime volte, sono stato a Cuba otto volte. Ho been in Cuba per eight, eight times, eight sì. times. Oh, sì. okay. I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember, I'm not sure. Eh, e poi ho avuto la fortuna di conoscere Giovanni Dalgo qui in Italia. I had the pleasure to, to meet uh, Giovanni Dalgo here in Italy. Sì, al Festival Umbria Jazz Festival. Sì, ah. in Umbria Jazz Festival. E, con lui è nata un'amicizia e ho, l'ho portato avanti per, per parecchio tempo questo, questa amicizia e, e sono riuscito a prendere molte lezioni da lui. And it, it, we, are, we, we started a, a friendship between us. Uh, I'm so uh, thankful and grateful uh, because I had the opportunity to have a lot of classes from him, from Giovanni Hidalgo, here in Perugia. Ah. Cosa poi è successa con Pedro Martinez, con Pedrito Martinez. And the ah, same really? thing happened with Giro Martinez. Sì. Wow. Con Jair Sala. Jair Sala, oltre. Eh, Jair Sala. E con Elie Lazzo, che ho conosciuto giovanissimo a, a Cuba, Marianao. E con Elie Lazzo, che ho conosciuto very very young uh, yeah. in Marianao e, do, e poi ho studiato sempre con Elie Lazo in Copenaghen sono andato and I started study also with him with Elie in Copenaghen oh you did? Eh, ah. sì. yeah, poi ho studiato timbales con Emilio Del Monte che ora non c'è più che era il timbalero di cubanismo i studied, uh, I, I had classes from uh, Emilio Del Monte, sì. from for Timbales, sì. uh, in Cuba. Sì, in Cuba, il timbalero di cubanismo. Is the, the timbales of cubanismo, no, buena vista, buona vista, eccetera, eccetera. eccetera, eccetera. And uh, Iaroldi, Iaroldi Abreu, molte lezioni, molte lezioni. Many lezioni. from uh, Iaroldi Abreu. Iaroldi Abreu. And, uh, il panga, il panga, Tomas, Tomas, il panga è stato eh, uno dei miei insegnanti, insomma, con il quale ho fatto, ho, ho tenuto più, più lezioni, insomma, ho avuto più lezioni. Il panga è stato eh, uno of my, eh, it's been one of my teacher, um, sì. which I had more lessons than other. Sì, eppure <ride> Oscar Valdez. Ah, yes, sei also Oscar Valdez. Sì, Oscar Valdez, che è il curatore di Irakere. Eh, founder of Irakere. Sì, cantante, singer. Singer wow. and... Okay. Yeah, great. Wow, you've had some fantastic teachers. I, um, I got to... Uh, did you ever take a lesson with Changuito, either one of you? Changuito? Qualcuno di voi ha fatto lezioni con Changuito? No, io l'ho solo conosciuto, non l'ho fatto. Yeah. We didn't have the pleasure. The, 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 we are not so lucky. <laughs> I, I, I got. To, I took one lesson with him, and it was uh, it was such an experience that you know I, I wanted to do more. So you know, because it was just that just teased me. You know, of, oh, can you imagine having more time with him? Because even just the one, it was a class. I was in a class. You know. Lui era una classe, ci ha avuto solo questa opportunità e, e avrebbe voluto insomma, che ci fosse molto più, molto più, molte più possibilità. But, ok. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't yell at me, th- so I thought I did ok. <laughs> <laughs> eh, lui l'ha, 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 l'ha guardato, insomma, ha fatto che gli bastava quello perché per lui era a posto. Ah. Era contento. <ride> Uh, and also, though, uh, Ilya Lazo, who is uh, Ilya Lazo, one of my favorites of, of my whole career, and um, he he he's a friend too and great in Dorsey. And I took a lesson with him once, and uh, I I recorded it, I videoed it, and I still work on that stuff now. Eh, noi l'amico è un'endorsi importante, ho fatto una volta una lezione e ancora la registro. 
strada e ancora la, la guarda la studia si ha una big big uh, musicality very yeah. big musicality and technique too and technique uh, I like uh, very much uh, Elia Lasso yeah. he's a beautiful beautiful player it's just so musical and uh, and uh, like you guys I mean you both are beautiful technique and very musical and uh, I so much enjoy sharing all your content uh, Roberto when you were studying in uh, Cuba uh, talk a little bit about what that was like for you as far as was it uh, in classes with other people or was it one on one no. with somebody or both? No, one on one. Single class. Come era studiare a Cuba in generale? Studiare a Cuba è stata una fantastica esperienza e soprattutto mi ricordo le lunghe camminate <laughs> prima di imparare a prendere il taxi. Studying in Cuba it was an amazing experience. And I remember uh, the long, long work I had to do before I I uh, I started to 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 take taxi. A prendere taxi come un cubano. Like a Cuban man, <laughs> which is not the same as a tourist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Luca, did you also go to Cuba as well? Or I know you you've been to Brazil, but have you been also studying in Cuba? Yeah, I was in Cuba in uh, the, uh, what do you mean I say? 2006. 2006. And I studied with uh, um, um, the, the big uh, um, exponent, exponent of the rumba, uh, like uh, Maximino Duquesne uh, and, the, and the family of Los Chinito. Uh, Lo Cinito is a very known family of uh, rumberos in, in Cuba. Uh, I started with, uh, with this uh, family, with the comments of this family. Guarapachangueo, no? Uh -huh. The rumba Guarapachangueo è nata. Uh, was born uh, with Lo Cinito and Pancho Quinto, but Lo Cinito is uh, cons considerato, con it's considered, considered uh, the family um, um, important. the most important, the most important of this uh, uh, style of rumba. Okay. You know this? <clears throat> yes. Yes. <laughs> and when, when okay. uh, Brazil, did did that come later after you your interest in the in Afro Cuban music, or was it around the same time when you studied started picking up Brazilian techniques? Interest for the music Brazilian came in the same time with this with this Cuban Cuban. Yes, a year later. One year after after uh, I began to study. Uh, Afro-Brazilian music, and uh, I um, I was uh, in to be in Brazil uh, six uh, okay. times, six times, <clears throat> and I, I have studied uh, very very uh, Brazilian music, the Brazilian uh, percussion, with many percussionists, famous percussionists uh, that. Uh, uh, plays uh, with uh, the big artists uh, in uh, in uh, Brazil like uh, Caetano Veloso, Carlinhos Brown, Gilbert Gio, and others. Um, what a very important experience for my uh, career of a musician. <clears throat> I love Brazil uh, and Cuba in the same. Uh, Way. way, in the yeah. same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to ask you this question now because it's always interests me with uh, regards to the interpretation of the style because uh, the Brazilian feel 
their music and their feel is is different. It's there's a uh, approach to the sixteenth note that's different. The way that they feel it, the, the skipping or the lope. I like to call it the lope. But uh, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, did that? Did you find that difficult at first? L'approccio del linguaggio brasiliano come il ritmo con questa approccio sedicesimo, no? L'ultimo sedicesimo, questo tipo di linguaggio. It's a, a different uh, language of, of music. Uh, the language of Brazilian music uh, is uh, very, very important for uh, a particular group. Uh, it's uh, mm, different to, to Cuban language. Um, and uh, Brazilian music Preso. Come? Bring. Brazilian music bring many mm, patterns of uh, uh, Cuban music, like the clave uh, and other uh, patterns, rhythmical patterns, because in Brazil uh, plays play a very uh, rumba clave, for example. Uh, in, in samba reggae, uh, the style of uh, Salvador de Bahia uh, is very um, played like uh, clave. Uh, it's very interesting for me. Uh, yeah. Put together, uh, put together, mesh, 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 mesh uh, Brazilian patterns with. Uh, Cuban patterns is very interesting, particular. And this is my truth. Uh, like, uh, for example, Sur Brazilian surdo uh, with the uh, congas pattern, or um, like Mandeiro uh, with the uh, congo. Uh, there are different uh, sonorities uh, that is possible to mesh too. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, the, your video that you've put out for the uh, playing the Gombops Pendero is, is great. I just shared it, actually, uh, a few days ago. Uh, it's great. The, your, your play Pendero, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Richard. Uh, the sound uh, of uh, the Gombops Pendero is, uh, is very uh, interesting because uh, I never see a pandeiro with the uh, skin uh, sabbiata uh, uh, the skin uh, i don't know the, the rough rough oh the rough, rough uh, skin. okay was the first pandeiro in my life with this this skin and uh, initially I was uh, not very um, uh, uh, non contento. Uh, not very happy. I was I was not very happy of this uh, type of skin. But uh, when I started to play, uh, I I sono rimasto colpito. Uh, I, I was astonished. I, I was uh, see, um, shock of this uh, uh, sound uh, very good in the um, low frequency. In the low frequency. Yeah. Uh, and uh, mi sono innamorato. I, I, I fall in love. Uh, see? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love this instrument. And, and uh, now I, I play only this pandeiro. I have uh, other pandeiro, arti artigianal, uh, artigianal. Handmade. Handmade pandeiro. But I like uh, the compost pandeiro. <laughs> only wow. this. Well, that's yeah, I, I because know, of the know. sound is the best of yeah. many handmade pandeiros. I like the low end too. I, I do too. And it's interesting, the, the rough head, uh, for me, because I'm not very good, helps me with the finger roll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true. It's better but, to, to make uh, this uh, particular sound. 
Mm. You know, uh, it's very interesting. Good, good work uh, of this instrument. Really good work. To we, had, we had help. We had help from Will Phillips. Uh, do you know who Will Phillips is? We <laughs> see. I know Will Phillips, uh, and uh, he mm, play very well uh, piano too. Um, it's very good. Yeah, I, I talked with the, with the him uh, um, in Super Pandero. Cioè, about this Pandero. About, about this Pandero. In private, we met private messenger and messages for uh, this Pandero with the uh, Will Phillips. Yeah. He 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 helped us helped us come up with the design for it, uh, and the the goal was to have it very light. Ah, lui e Will li, li aiutati proprio con il design del pandeiro. Ah, L'obiettivo wow. era che fosse molto leggero. Okay, okay, wow. it's true. It's very light, light. It's very important for the pandeiro. Yeah, uh, a characteristic very very important because see if you have a, a pandeiro very heavy heavy it's not good to study for uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, with the gombox pandero there isn't this uh, situation it's good to study many many hours mm -hmm. have you guys uh i don't know if you've seen or tried our new uh bucket shaker yet Avete visto provato il nuovo bacchetere? No. No, no. Ho visto ma provato. We have seen but not tried. Not tried. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not tried yet. Looking forward to. Yeah. Exactly. Try. Looking forward to experiment uh, this it's instrument. Cool. We have to get one over there to you. We need to get one to Italy. I don't know if Andrea has one yet, but we need to get one over okay. there. How uh -huh. far? How okay. far is Andrea's office from you? Quanto è lontano Andrea? Two, two hours, hour, two hours of hour. with car, two hours. Okay. Not very thin, long. Yeah. Roberto, uh, how did you discover uh, Gombops? I mean, did you learn about it a long time ago or is this fairly new? finding out about the instruments did you always you know did, what were you playing when you were younger was it a new discovery or cosa quando hai scoperto gombo uh, da poco da tanto tempo da hai, quando hai cominciato cosa suonavi allora il marchio gombox l'ho scoperto circa 15 anni fa più o meno i discovered gombo brand almost uh, uh, about uh, 15 years ago sì però non era molto conosciuto in italia but the, at that time uh, it was not so known in Italy. Mm. E invece eh, cinque o sei anni fa comprando queste queste Mariano ho scoperto uh, che lo strumento era superiore a Aya. Five or six years ago I bought uh, this uh, Mariano sì. and I discovered that the 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 they were a superior instrument. Sì superiore a, ad altri marchi. Re, really a lot better than other brands. Sì. Poi questo qui è l'ultimo arrivato della famiglia. My, my last, uh, oh. the, the last instrument I, I, buy, I bought is this, this one. Io vorrei essere vilato. Vorrei essere vilato in yeah. Very light. Very, 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 very light. light. Eh. E il mio my best il mio preferito my, my favorite my favorite is incredible yeah. instrument sì the best bongo uh, <laughs> che abbia mai fatto uh, the best bongo i have ever played yes i you know i yeah. agree with you it's, it's very interesting the combination of those heads and the fiberglass shells, a really great sound for a bongo. Yes, yes. La combinazione di questi pelli con il bongo. Fiberglass, synthetic skin, uh, is perfect. The sound is uh, incredible. And 
Uh, I don't know. Eh, la proiezione, pro, projection. The projection? Sì, the projection. Eh, the, non ha risonanze. It doesn't uh, have noisy resonation. Uh, it just projects the sound very far from. Yeah. Also for you, yeah. Then. Perfect. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Roberto helped us a lot with those. Uh, Roberto is such a great player. Um, have you, has, have you uh, spent much time with Roberto or Lucito Cantero in Italy? Ho incontrato in Italia Roberto Lucito. E io ho conosciuto Lucito alla Umbria Jazz Festival. I met Lucito in Umbria Jazz Festival. Con Cicoria. Uh -huh. With Cicoria. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. L'ho conosciuto lì e sono salito sul palco con lui. È stato molto gentile, molto. I spent some time on stage with him. It was very, very kind. Sì, mi ha dato, very nice. mi ha dato dei consigli. He gave me uh, some suggestion and comment. Yeah. E Roberto solamente eh, l'ho conosciuto tramite eh, in rete, insomma. Uh, uh, Roberto, I, I, I met him only online by... È uno dei miei miti. <laughs> He's one of, I'm, I'm one of my meets. I am I a fan of, <laughs> of Roberto. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> I have a question. Do, do, you, do you guys ever play together? Avete mai suonato insieme? Yeah, yeah. Many, many times. Uh, at um, the festival uh, uh, Percotiamo, uh, that is the most important festival in Italy of the uh, percussion instruments, uh, we play uh, together uh, and uh, we hope that we play together many, 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 many times in the future. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Different gigs uh, with uh, Latin bands. Uh, yeah, yeah, very, very times, M many times. Teach, teach together. Ah, we, we teach with, uh, together uh, for. No? Here in Umbria, the Umbria Jazz Festival organized uh, the, um, how, uh, the lesson uh, for uh, kids. Kids. And the the, jazz for kids. For kids, and in the last summer, we teach together in um, a project of teaching for kids, uh, patrocinated uh, to Umbrage for Umbrage, this festival. And we hope uh, to teach uh, the, the, um, uh, the next summer. The next yeah. summer. yeah. Maybe this is something that we could uh, it would be really great to get a, a a video of you two playing together, combining the Cuban and Brazilian styles with the gombops instruments. That would be fun. Sarebbe sarebbe bello vedere qualche yes. video vostro insieme che combinate strumenti gombops. Very soon, very soon, di lo fare. We'll do this. We are working oh. on it. Oh, great! Excellent. Uh, when, uh, Roberto, when do you think your, your record is going to be ready to release? How long? Quanto pensi che ci vorrà perché sia pronto il tuo disco, il tuo lavoro? Io spero in aprile. I hope uh, in April it I will be ready. April. I hope. <laughs> yeah. I, right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know I because uh, the guest. Uh, avranno i loro tempi per registrare e io con questa situazione pure I am, because uh, having a lot of guests of course they need uh, every one of them needs uh, its time to, re to, to record and uh, I am in the middle trying to fix everything so let's see sì. yeah. questo disco yeah. sarà una specie di puzzle <laughs> This uh, CD will be something like a puzzle. Like a puzzle. Yeah. Yes. I know, I know. Yeah. And it seems to me, like for me, it's uh, when you're working on something uh, and you hear something and you have to go back and you have to edit 
or tweak or raise a level or change an, some sort of whatever you're working on, whether it's reverb or whatever setting back and forth and back and forth takes a long time. Yeah, anche per lui, perché ogni volta che lavori su qualcosa, anche sui livelli, ti danno un po' quello di ascolti, vai avanti, poi torni indietro e poi vai avanti. Esatto. Io fortunatamente ho il mio amico Mario Rodriguez che mi aiuta su questo. I'm lucky because anche I have, dal punto di vista tecnico. I have uh, uh, Mario Rodriguez, uh, one of my best friends, which is helping me also in the technical stuff. So it's a great help for me. Are you recording in Pro Tools or Logic or what, what medium do you use? Eh, quale media usi Pro Tools, Logic? Pro Tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use Logic. Yeah. I use yeah, Logic, not Pro Tools. <laughs> I do too. I, I'm actually pretty surprised how, how, how great it is. There's so much, for, for what you pay for Logic, is so, you get so many sounds. Eh, puoi avere i tanti suoni, sono stupidi. Yeah, yeah. It's not very difficult to, to work with, uh, with logic. For me right. it's the most uh, uh, simple uh, that, uh, for example, uh, Pro Tools. Pro Tools is a program um, um, most difficult. I agree. Most difficult. Yeah. Logic is easy. Logic yeah. is uh, very easy. Yeah. But I, I, every time I go to the studio, I seem to have to learn something new. It's every time I learn something else. It's just, it just never ends. <laughs> I have a question for you both. I mean, when it comes to writing music, do you start, depending on the song, because what you said, Roberto, about it being a puzzle, the pieces come together. Do you start when you're thinking of an original piece of music? Do you start on a groove, or do you start with keyboards, or to come up with something like a melodic? How do you start writing? Quando pensate un brano originale, come come parti? Lui ha detto che è un puzzle. Partite dal groove, dalle tastiere, oppure dalla melodia? Sì, sì, dalla melodia. Io dalla melodia. Eh. So, Luca, uh, the first thing is the melody. Yeah. Una parte iniziale di melodia e magari una ritmica si dice la chitarra per poi creare il suo pronto. Something from, starting from the melody and then uh, uh, a simple uh, a guitar chords and then the, 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 the piece goes from there. Uh -huh. Those two are the first the things. Io invece prendo spunto da, da quello che, che mi viene in base ai dischi che ho ascoltato. Questo è per me è qualcosa che mi è venuto in mente e dipende da the the the, 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 the series, the music che ho ascoltato prima. Sì, mi faccio aiutare da. I, I get inspiration from there. I see. Yeah, I I understand that, and and I I'm sure you guys know this. It's like sometimes you're just there's you have melodies going on all the time in your head. I do, and then I'll come down to the I'll go to the piano and come up with a melody, and that will take me to the next place. Uh, I had this conversation recently with Lenny Castro because Lenny uh, came out with his first solo record uh, in 2018, the same year I did actually. And we talked about how we come up with original music. And the, he says it's like a puzzle. He says he builds on it. He'll come up with an idea and he'll build on it. Uh, same. Lui ha avuto, eh, prima del quando la melodia la fa girare in testa per giorni, poi da messo sul pianoforte, poi da riparti tutto. Ha avuto yeah. una conversazione con Danny Castro, mm -hmm. che anche lui è uscito nel 2018 con il suo primo CD solo. E per lui è un puzzle, anche per lui è un fatto di testini che si mettono insieme. Per me. sì. Io per esempio questa mattina studiando Batà... Eh... For example, this morning I was uh, practicing Batà. Eh... 
cambiando alcuni, alcune parti ritmiche di, di un toque conosciuto, di un ritmo conosciuto. And just changing some um, rhythm uh, in the patterns of the famous toque. Sì, ho avuto un'idea mescolandolo al Madoras e al Cajon. I, I get an idea, an idea came into my mind uh, mixed uh, with the uh, Tumbadora in Cajon. Sì, questa cosa qui la metterò nel disco, sarà uno dei suono percussione. And I, uh, now I know that I put it in my CD uh, as a, a track, only percussion track. Con a guest. <laughs> With a guest also here. Yeah. Now that's exciting. So there's going to be, is it, is it one piece of music on your record that's just percussion or do you have more than one solely just percussion? Eh, solo percussione c'è un pezzo solo. Sì, solo un pezzo. Only percussion we need only one track. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I uh I I uh I uh thought about that myself. I my my next record I start out I start out the album with a conga solo. And uh but I don't have a, a piece of music that's just percussion, but I use the Marianos on this percussion, this conga solo in the first track. And I'm very excited for everybody to hear it because I had a, I just got lucky. I had a great mic and it sounds really great. So really, you can really hear the Marianos. We will listen to it, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not like you guys but uh I'll try you know <laughs> uh, uh, I read in your in your biography you work with Peter Erskine tell me what you did with Peter ha letto nella tua biografia che hai lavorato con Peter Erskine dimmi un po' che hai fatto con Peter Erskine a recording I never see Peter Uh, personally, personally, but I I will record uh, a CD uh, where uh, uh, he play drum. A CD yep. of um, an Italian artist, um, bassist, bass player, bass player uh, that um, invite uh, Peter uh, for uh, two tracks two tracks and in uh, one of these tracks uh, i um, this is uh, this recording. Is recording my my percussion okay what's the name of the uh, artist how can we hear that i'd like to hear that what's the name uh, this artist, uh, his name is uh, marcello sutera uh, a bass player italian bass player very very good that uh, works with the uh, other big uh, musicians in the world like uh, for example uh, um, um, Orazio Negro, Orazio Negro. Andes, uh, with um, the, uh, the other drummer um, Gary Novak uh, with the other uh, music, American musician uh, singer and uh, um Anist, uh, I, don't name, Mac, uh, I don't remember the name, but it's very, very famous. And um, uh, and then he worked uh, with uh, many, many big uh, artists uh, live and uh, recording uh, uh, too. Oh, beautiful. And then, Roberto, I, I read somewhere that you had worked once with Quincy, Quincy Jones. Yes. yes, I play, played in uh, Umbria Jazz Festival in the um, uh, 85th anniversary. It was, no, it's the anniversary. It was uh, uh, Quincy Jones' 85th uh, uh, birthday. Uh, there was a series of concerts to celebrate. And uh, with, he had a concert uh, in Umbria Jazz Festival. Yes, with a big orchestra, orchestra, 70 elements, 70 elements. 
Yes. Wow, that must have been and fantastic. And Pinto, Alfredo Rodriguez, and uh, and uh, uh, many and guests, super guests. Uh, uh, Didi Bridgewater. Uh-huh. Uh I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Who was playing drums? <laughs> Harvey Mason. Harvey Mason. Harvey Mason. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. um, so, have either of you ever worked with Zucchero? Have you ever worked with Zucchero? No. no. Fortunately, no. Unluckily, no. No. I'm, I'm a big fan. I, I got to see fan. him. I got to see Me him too. in Los Angeles once. He was, he was so good. Fantastic. Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I like to... Um, Zucchero. Yeah, he's great. How about, um, I have a very good friend of mine who I toured with years ago, great drummer from here, who plays, he's the drummer for Vasco Rossi. His name is Matt Log. Have you ever seen him play with Vasco Rossi? I don't know if he's a Vasco Rossi, his friend. Matt Log, no. Matt Log. No. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see um, in the video, in uh, one video of the uh, yeah, yeah, he's a very, very good drummer, very good drummer. Yeah, very solid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's been working with Vasco for a long time now. And um, I have another friend, a bass player that, uh, that I used to be in a band with, Kurt Pescara and, and I had a jazz group. And this bass player is Reggie Hamilton, amazing bass player. And he ended up touring yeah. a lot with uh, Eros Ramazzotti. Wow. Yeah. So wow. I, I'm sure I'm sure you guys miss being on tour and and not being able to. Yeah. yeah. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. I was also reading. Uh, Roberto, you did something with Cirque du Soleil. What was that? See, uh, many, many years ago, uh, for uh, the uh, presentation, to present a automobile, la Fiat Bravo, nel lontano, non mi ricordo. It was many, many years ago to the, um, uh, the, the presentation of the uh, a new model of Fiat car. It was Fiat Bravo, Italian car. And we had a show with the Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Io dovevo suonare una scultura fatta con i pezzi dell'automobile. I had to play a sculpture uh, made by uh, uh, pieces of car. Sì, una scultura che era uh, come una torre. It was like a sculpture, it was like a tower. Sì, uh -huh. questi, questi pezzi di, di, di scultura erano microfonati con dei trigger. Uh, and you, uh, erano, sì, amplificati. The sculpture made by pieces of a car, machine, were amplified by uh, trigger. Trigger. Ah, oh. ok. E io avevo scritto un um, pezzo ritmico che era fondamentalmente una makuta. I wrote down a piece of music uh, I had to play, it was uh, like a makuta. I was just going to ask you... In questa scultura c'era una cantante lei. At the top of this sculpture uh, there was a, a singer, a, a lyric singer, a soprano singer. Wow. Yeah. 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 An amazing, amazing, incredible experience. I bet. And I was just going to ask you if the, if the music was difficult or not. Was it? Was it? Was it music that they had charts for? Che musica? La musica era difficile. L'hanno data loro. No, la musica era semplice. Io molto semplice. Sì, me l'hanno data loro. Io ho dovuto solo arrangiare la parte ritmica. Ah, the music was quite easy. Uh, luckily, I had only to arrange the uh, the part, my part. La musica era molto semplice. 
was very simple, very easy. Okay. Però era difficile perché dovevi suonare con le mani. But it, it, it was complicated because I had to play with a huge mallet uh, hammer uh, on the scatter. Oh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> con il click. With the click. Uh, really? really, to the click. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> very, very fun. Very fun. fun. I've talked to a, a few people who have worked with Cirque du Soleil extensively, you know, a lot. And they do say that the music is not easy and it's a lot of rehearsals. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 The Cirque du Soleil Ensemble is quite difficult. Uh, they have to play a lot, to rehearse yeah. a lot. Other, other uh, <laughs> things. Um, I have a question for both of you. So whoever wants to take this question first. When you're working with students, um, what, what are the challenges you find today um, in teaching young students when it comes to uh, uh, well, first of all, do you work with them with reading and with technique? And and what's the challenge? Because I think the attention span today of young musicians is, you know, it's a YouTube generation. Everything is quick. Everything. What, do you find that challenging when you're teaching kids? And do you talk a little bit about that, about teaching young students? Eh, Qual è per voi no, la sfida più grande nel lavorare con i ragazzi? Che tipo di lavoro fate? Partite con la lettura, la tecnica? Considerato che eh, siamo nella generazione di YouTube, si parla di YouTube in attenzione molto limitata. Eh, direi che per me la cosa più importante è trasmettere l'amore. Eh, e... Per me the first thing is the most important thing is to, to give him, to transmit him them the, the love. The love for the music. E le esperienze diverse che ho vissuto eh, all'interno della musica, più che dare troppi esercizi o fare studiare, cercare di far capire l'intenzione. And I want to share with them my, my experience in music and my uh, mission uh, in music more than uh, 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 giving them exercise technical or reading. Uh, or I prefer the to share experience. Ovviamente faccio studiare anche gli esercizi, però mi interessa più passare il lato piano più che cioè, solo tecnico, no? del, del metodo del libro, pagina 2, esercizio 5. Lo spiego e lo fanno a casa. Of course, uh, I, 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 I give them also exercises, but uh, this, I, the, my focus is on human. Um, relationship discipline. and discipline also. Of course, I give them exercises on the book, and, uh, and but it's mm -hmm. not only page one, exercise three. Eh, per me, eh, prima voglio capire chi ho davanti per non perdere subito l'allievo. <laughs> uh, the first thing is I have to understand to to know. Uh, who is in front of me? The guy, right. the kids, the children uh, I have around me. Um, because I don't want to lose him or her yeah. or them. Eh, this is my job. Prima di cominciare a fare le cose seriamente. Before, uh, before this is, uh, um, after that uh, I start to do seriously, I start to do um, my work with them, but I have to understand who are they? E anche, voglio sure. capire anche se possono arrivare a, a fare le cose seriamente. Uh, I want to know if uh, uh, this, this, the children want, want to, to do seriously, to, uh, um, which approach they want to have with the music, with me, with the instruments. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once you find out their personality and what they're what they're about as a person, then you know which direction to go or 
Cioè, è importante capire chi sono come per, per avere chiara la direzione su cui andare. Yeah, sì. Sure. Um, what's the situation in schools in Italy? The music programs, is it supportive of the arts in Italy, in the, in the schools? Come la situazione delle scuole in Italia? Supportano le arti, la musica, le arti? Sì, devo dire che eh, io personalmente lavoro in scuole private e ultimamente sto lavorando con, eh, con alcuni conservatori. Devo dire che ultimamente eh, hanno dimostrato molto interesse per questa percussione che è poco conosciuta ancora nelle eh, istituzioni. I work with the private school and, uh, and in the last two years I started to work on also uh, in a conservatorium, which is the college, the, the music college, and uh, I can say that uh, um, they start to, to be interested in uh, also, also in uh, our percussion world. Okay. Modern. In modern percussion, modern of percussion. course. <laughs> Yeah. And do you work with your students with melodic instruments as well? Avete anche studenti che studiano melodici o solo per questo insieme? Nelle scuole c'è dove c'è And you saying in the school where we are teaching there are also students of melodical instruments? Yeah, yeah, all instruments. Yes. There are uh, uh, see, all uh, Uh, instruments, uh, melodics, uh, rhythm, uh, all in the so, music school. Uh, yeah, so more the, more my, the classical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in my experience, I'm um, seeing uh, that there is apertura mental in the schools, also in the primary and secondary schools. They are promoting a lot of courses and I'm working a lot also in primary schools. Uh, they are uh, giving us the opportunity to, to, to open the mind to the, the music as an instrument of uh, uh, growing up, of uh, um, uh, education. Yeah. To educate kids with the sound of percussion. Uh, it's, it's very directly and uh, important uh, um, at the same time for, uh, for kids uh, to discover, discover. To discover uh, new sounds uh, with uh, particular instruments that kids. Uh, non conoscono they never seen before, before no? a particular instrument a percussion instrument uh, like uh, for example um, uh, pandeiro or uh, um, a, a little percussion that we uh, che noi chiamiamo effettistica we called we call, we call, we call che, che, that we call effettistica Effect. Uh, mm, and the kids uh, know drum, guitar, uh, and uh, um, trumpet, percussion are uh, mm, instruments that uh, are very known really? by the, the kids. Oh, no, really? no, like the people to Yeah. What about um, stores, uh, music stores in Italy? Is it, is it uh, difficult to find instruments that you need specifically, like percussion instruments in music stores? Or some, some cities are better than others, I would think, right? Come are negozi? Avete facilità di cose oppure come in Italia? It's not very simple, uh, Rich, uh, because uh, uh, if uh, there is uh, uh, a shop um, speciali specializes the shop in percussion okay but in uh, music store uh, uh, the percussion are not very important unfortunately um, but if you uh, come to uh, music store 
that he carries it on percussion uh, for us uh, is a uh, parco giochi. Luna Park. Eh, una, a Luna Park for us. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, yeah. But um, it's normal that the percussion uh, is not like a guitar uh, or a drum. Uh, eh, is, eh, sono meno venduti, cioè meno um, commercializzati. Eh, eh. They are uh, not so many, so uh, the, the audience is not so huge. So yes, more, much more people who, who buy a guitar than a, yeah, of than a pandeiro. Yeah. yeah, here too. Yeah. It's not yeah. so easy. Yeah. What about um, workshops or clinics or master classes? I mean, even. I would say like before the pandemic, were you doing these kinds of workshops and master classes, clinics in, in Italy at all together? Uh, not together, but separately or together? Di fatto questi seminari workshop prima della pandemia, come era la situazione? Before the, the pandemic situation uh, was uh, normal. Uh, yeah. We worked a lot uh, with the um, uh, live show and uh, with uh, teaching uh, too. More, yes. more of a, like at a university or at a music store or both? Uh, I, I, I work uh, for a clinic in a college. In a college. But also in music school. Before uh, in, in Malaysia. Malaysia too. Uh, I also had a workshop in Malaysia. Yes. Really? Si, in Malaysia. Talk, talk in Borneo. In, in, in Malaysia, in, Bor- Ma- in Malaysia, in Borneo. Si. Si, in Borneo. Borneo master class and uh, lesson in, uh, in un, uh, one school, music school. How did you e ho avuto anche la possibilità di fare una, una masterclass aperta agli studenti di una scuola, una scuola molto importante in Borneo. Hai eh, l'opportunità di avere un teach in a workshop per un importante scuola in Borneo? Sì, importante, la più importante scuola più importante di, di musica e in questa scuola c'era, c'era un auditorium bello grande con They had a huge venue, a huge auditorium con, uh, c'erano molti strumenti with a lot of instruments sì, sì, sì. E in Malesia eh, ho lavorato pure in Cota Kinabalu uh, the, the town was uh, the, the Kota Navalu. Sì, Kota Navalu in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Ed in Kuala Lumpur. Sì, Kuala Lumpur ho pure suonato live. And there I had uh, a gig, a live. Sì, in un uh, jazz club famoso. In a famous jazz club. Che si chiama No Black Tie. No Black Tie. In duo con il mio amico pianista Manuel Magrini. I played in, in a duo concert with my friend. Uh, Pianis, um, his name is Manuel Madrini. Sì, e mi sono portato dietro anche il Gombox uh, Mariano. And I had with me for that concert my uh, Mongols. Sì. Oh, the Mongols. Fino. Yeah. Yeah, in, oh, in Malesia. Me and my Mongols. <laughs> Perché la Malesia è la terra dei Durian. Because Malesia is the. the, 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 the Place of the durian. Durian è il legno del. Oh, right. That's right. They had a lot the of smell, the smell, the smell uh, fruit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yes. It's Malaysia, right? It's very famous in Malaysia. The so the, I, the 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 it, uh, the durian è, è proibito di essere in alcuni hotel. You are not allowed to bring durian fruit in a hotel because of its smell. Sì. Smell, right, right. Però i malesi lo amano. But the Malaysia people, they love it. Did you taste yeah. it? In Singapore c'è, c'è un palazzo fatto a forma di re. In Singapore they have 
uh, place. a place, a building uh, which has the, the shape of a durian tree. Did, did you try it? No, durian fruit. Ah, durian fruit. fruit, fruit, fruit. Durian fruit. Not the fruit. fruit. So Pero the conga don't smell. But yeah, I know. <laughs> when, you, when, when, you, when you eat the durian fruit, uh, is it hard to get yes, I, the, I the smell? <laughs> I tried one time. Well, you're very but, brave. Uh, I say I'm also where I do. <laughs> one time, only one <laughs> time. <laughs> Basta. I prefer, I prefer mango. Mango. Yeah, yeah. What, I want to just tell everybody what, what they're talking about is the wood that we use for the Mariano series is a durian uh, tree wood from Malaysia, and it's uh, it's the wood that we get from Malaysia, and uh, but it has a fruit. That they're saying is a very pungent <laughs> fruit, uh, but apparently it's supposed to taste sweet, but it's hard to smell. Anyway, <laughs> that's very funny. Um, you know, it's uh, interesting. We, we've been getting more questions lately uh, about players wanting to um, put synthetic heads on the Mariano series. Uh, the, you know, sometimes players might not want to have a, a cowhide if they're playing a lot of live outdoor gigs. They want to have a synthetic Remo head. Do you guys go back and forth between Remo synthetic heads and natural, or do you always use natural heads? Regardo le pelli, usate le sintetiche, molti usano le sintetiche o le sostituiscono con le naturali, magari per suonare fuori perché sono più sensibili. Come va a tipo di pelli? Um, in, uh, in my experience, uh, I'd like to play natural skin with the Mariano uh, because uh, for me, have a, a sound uh, um, much um, too caldo, warm, much warm, uh, and I use. Uh, uh, in, uh, for example, in the jazz music, uh, because they have the sound più um, um, basso, più contenuto, più uh, harmonic. No, sì, um, the sound is più soft. Uh, have a, a soft sound uh, in the jazz is very, very good. Uh, when I play, for example, funk or pop music, uh, I'd like to use uh, my California uh, conga series with uh, uh, synthetic uh, skin. Yes. Uh, and they have an uh, explosion sound uh, like an uh, explosion. Very, yeah. very. But for the, to, to play jazz, soul music, uh, I prefer uh, Mariano with the natural skin. Uh -huh. Roberto? Yeah. I um, I use uh, the skin dip, skin dip uh -huh. on the on macho embra, skin dip, and study uh, with wood, uh, legno. <laughs> uh, with a wood pad, wood pad, pratic pad, and study um, on the natural skin. I practice some I'm practice. But I play uh, with the skin deep on macho embra and tercera and quarta conga, quarta tumba, with natural skin. Mashup. So you mix it. Yeah, you, you yes. play it. Yes, oh, the sound is good. Okay. Yeah. Mix the sound. That that drum right there in front of Luca, that's got a skin deep on it? Yeah, skin deep. Yeah, skin deep, skin, deep. Yeah. Remo, Remo yeah. skin deep, skin, yeah. Remo Mariano. How was it for you to mount that head on the drum? Was it okay? 
Com'è per te montare questa pelle? È eh, ok avere questa pelle? It's very good, it's very good because the, the sound is uh, more uh, um, open, uh, yeah. the, the frequency is uh, the, um, the union of the um, synthetic skin with the um, uh, conga in legno, natural, good uh, with the conga. It's, it's very good because the sound is uh, equilibrated. The balance, balance. The balance is uh, very equilibrated. Okay. Um, the tuning. The tuning is important because the note uh, is the same. Very, definitely, definitely. It's always the same. Yeah. Not changing. Yeah. Right. Well, we important. Were, yes, especially when you don't want weather to change it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're getting to the end of the show, but I wanted to. I know we just asked. We talked about Roberto's record, so uh, you ha have to let us know when um, when uh, that's going to be available, so we can tell people about it and uh, post it on our social media and help you. Stiamo andando verso la fine dello show, però volevo eh, ricordare che di quando esce il tuo disco, faccio sapere perché se tu vuoi la tua media, eh, you, eh, magari ripeti quando. E eh, io però eh, aprile. I think in April, let's see, I hope in April, I will, I will tell you. Ma io eh, ve lo dirò molto presto. Very soon. Very soon. Well, good, good luck finishing it. Thank you, Richard. And Luca, what do you have coming up that uh, you can tell us about that that you're working on or coming up that things that are coming up for you this year? Anche tu facci sapere quando cominceranno gli show per essere. Ok, ok. Coming up, facci dacci coming up. Ok, sure, thank you so much. Richard, mi sono scordato di dirti una cosa. I forgot to tell you something. Sì. Um, io da poco ho registrato un brano singolo. Uh, I, I just recorded a solo piece. Un brano pop. Pop solo piece. Sì, un brano pop latino, latin pop, cantato in italiano. Um, with the Italian uh, lyrics. E le percussioni sono tutte con box, dalla maraca a, al timbale. And the percussion recorded in this piece are... All of them are gombops from the maracas to the timbal. Sì, il brano si chiama Havana qui non c'è. The, 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 the title of the song is Havana qui non c'è. Ok. Ti manderò il link così mi dirai se ti piace. I will send you the link and so you will tell me if you like it. Ok. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, okay. uh, guys, this is, thank you. For doing this with us this has been so great having you here finally you get to see your faces and talk it's just so great to finally see. one day hopefully in person you know um and laura thank you for helping us with this today we appreciate thank, you. It. Thank, thank you thank you thank you so much a big pleasure un grande piacere in italiano in italian un grande grandissimo <laughs> big pleasure for us oh, thank well, you so much us. For us too, and and again, uh, we have to thank you so much for everything you do for Gombops in Italy. Uh, you're really uh, very important to us, both of you, and what you do, and all of the content that you create is all really high quality. You're great players, but you're creating good content. Uh, it's inspirational. So, grazie. Thank you, thank you so much, Richard. For us, uh, i repeat that it's a big pleasure working with the uh, with the Gombox because uh, are uh, really really magnificent instrument. Very very amazing. Top top. Uh, I love this. <laughs> really. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Always. You guys make them sound great. So we'll do more together, and then maybe we can talk more about the video idea of having you both play together like you were saying that's going to be great 
Okay. Sarà bello avere un video di voi insieme. Very soon. Very, very soon. Okay. <laughs> we yeah. make very soon. Great. Well, I'm going to sign off. Just uh, hang on. I'll be right back with you guys. And uh, again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> thank you, our uh, <laughs> translator. <laughs> we'll talk okay. soon. And good evening for all. Good night. Here is night. In California, is day. Good good morning. Day. That's right. Okay. Good morning yeah. <laughs> for our American visitors, uh, uh, yeah. fans. fans. Okay. Okay. Great. Ciao, Hi, guys. Hi. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Everybody, thank you very much for joining us today. This is uh, wonderful to have these these two guys here all the way from Italy. And uh, we will be doing another show very soon. Stay tuned to our social media, and we will announce the next show. Um, any questions you have for these gentlemen, you can always reach them on their social media pages, or you can also contact us, and we'll be happy to pass along any questions to them. Um, thank you again for, for uh, being a part of our show, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.